Absolutely. Could I ask you, are you going to be with your wife for Christmas? I hope so. Television actor Chris Noth has officially been dropped from Hollywood after being accused of non consensually coming on to two different women. While he denies these reports, that does not save him from being dropped from his CBS series The Equalizer, where he starred alongside Queen Latifah. The actor, who was famously known as Mr. Big in the television series Sex in the City, also starred in the reboot that was released only a few weeks ago in December. These allegations came with the release of the reboot show and resurface other complaints made against the actor. The number of women who have officially accused Chris of inappropriate incidences has officially risen to five, and these final two women may have allowed his past to catch up with him. Either way, there is no doubt that Chris Noth's career is definitely over. Today we cover actor Chris Noth, but I would love to hear from you guys on who you'd like to see covered on the next episode. Let us know by commenting down below, and don't forget to hit the like button for more content. Let's get into it, shall we? Chris Noth was born in the US and grew up in Connecticut. His parents separated when he was 9 or 10, and his father died in a car crash when he was only 11 years old. Losing his father was a massive blow for Noth when he began getting into trouble. He was into vandalism, smoking illicit substances, and driving before obtaining his license. Noth would take more dangerous substances with his friends at 15 while living in New York with his single mother. After an incident where he took a neighbor's car for a joyride and it rolled into another neighbor's house, his mother sent him to a boarding school for at-risk youth. The school itself was extremely experimental with no grade structures in place and a focus on the arts as a means of emotional expression. It was at this school that Chris met poet Peter Kane Dufault, who taught and showed Chris the complexity and excitement of the arts. By the time he graduated from the boarding school, Noth was quote, totally into being a hippie with long hair. Noth began attending a college with the intent to be a poet, but in order to get out of taking a Latin class, he joined the school's theater company. It was there that he began working on the stage and fell in love with theater acting. After he graduated from the college, he was accepted at an acting school and taught various radical ways of character development and script analysis. He would be kicked out, however, for working in theater, which went against the strict rules of the school where performing while learning was prohibited. Noth would go on to make a name for himself in Broadway for a number of years, supplementing his income with different waiter positions. He would go on to star in more plays and commercials before landing his first big role in Law & Order. From that appearance, he got the exposure he needed to become the on-again, off-again romance partner of Carrie Bradshaw in the television series Sex and the City. His role as Mr. Big established Noth as a romantic comedian. He then landed roles in various other movies and TV shows, including Castaway away in The Good Wife. Chris Noth is the owner of music and nightclub venues around New York and a stakeholder in a few other business ventures. Between 1990 and 1995, he also had a relationship with famed model Beverly Johnson, who is known as the first black actor to appear on an American issue of Vogue. His relationship with Johnson, which was a few years prior to his role in Sex and the City, would become the first evidence of Chris's history of violence against women. The relationship ended when the model got a restraining order against Noth and accused him of physical, verbal, and racial of course, because it's Hollywood, nothing came from this. Instead, Noth would go on to have an extremely lucrative career as Mr. Big, despite his known history of a towards women. He married his wife Tara Wilson in 2012 after meeting in 2001 and currently lives in Los Angeles. He would live out his life being a television and movie actor for many, many years and even starred in the Sex and City reboot, which aired in early December 2021. Amid his reprisal of the role as Carrie's lover, two separate women came forward about their horrific history with the actor. These two women, who remain anonymous, allege that they were sexually coerced by the actor. The first woman whose decision to remain anonymous is because, quote, she still works in the entertainment industry and is is fearful of repercussions if her identity is known, said that, quote, seeing that he was reprising his role in Sex in the City set something off in me. For so many years, I buried it. She describes being 22 years old and working in a Los Angeles firm when she met Chris, who was 49 at the time. She tells The Hollywood Reporter that he would incessantly call her after getting her number from a co-worker. Upon going to his apartment to return a book, she said that Noth, quote, kissed her, then pulled her towards him, moved her towards the bed, pulled off her shorts, and began forcing himself onto her. Despite her screams for him to stop, he did not. When she got home, she had to go to the hospital to receive stitches because he had been so violent and hurt her in the process. The victim then states that for years she had to go to counseling because of how traumatic the incident was. The center where she was treated confirmed that she was there, and yet despite telling her boss what had happened at the time, she did not go public because she knew no one would believe her. The second victim, also anonymous, was attacked only as recently as 2015 by Noth when she was 25 and he was a married 60-year-old. She describes meeting the actor 
at a nightclub where she worked. She was starstruck as a diehard Sex in the City fan and agreed to go to dinner with him. While at dinner, he invited her up to his apartment with the offer of tasting whiskey, to which she says, quote, Now I find it humiliating to admit that I didn't think he would try to sleep with me. I thought, we're going to drink whiskey and talk about his acting career. It was so stupid. Once in the apartment, the victim was forcibly made to act sexually with Chris, who ignored her protests. She tried to remind him of his wife and kids, to which he reportedly replied, quote, My marriage is a sham. Monogamy is not real. She describes crying as the violence went on before finally being able to leave in an Uber once the act had finished. The Hollywood Reporter got a hold of the text sent between the two after the 2015 incident, where he asks her not to tell her friends and then says that he had a lot of fun, before asking multiple times if she would still see him. She's polite but non-committal, and the two never meet again. After the two initial women came forward with their stories, two other women opened up about similar experiences with Chris Noth, bringing the total number of women who had reportedly been aggressively pursued by the actor up to five, with the inclusion of his model ex-girlfriend. On December 20th, Chris was fired from his television show The Equalizer. His response to all this? Deny, deny, deny. He released a statement that reads, quote, The accusations against me made by individuals I met years, even decades ago, are categorically false. These stories could have been from 30 years ago or 30 days ago. No always means no. This is a line I do not cross. The encounters were consensual. It's difficult not to question the timing of these stories coming out. Sadly, while researching this piece, I came across a lot of vitriol from YouTube commenters who seem to be defending Noth and questioning the legitimacy of the claims because of how long ago they occurred. It seems that for now, no one is making any move to take the claims to court. Although I personally think that it's ridiculous to say that because women wait too long, they're probably lying. I can't even imagine having to actually go against a high profile actor in a he said, she said battle that more often than not ruins the lives of the accusers rather than the accused. So what, an actor is now unable to continue to make millions of dollars because he got dropped from a movie deal? Meanwhile, these women have their dignity stolen from them. They're kept silent for fear of losing their jobs, their entire livelihoods that, unlike these actors, do not grant them millions of dollars. Until very recently, the idea of going against a celebrity who has done wrong was unthinkable. You were more likely to be fired or ostracized if you claimed a beloved actor harmed you. I mean, look at how people like Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby got away with it for so long. These instances where it's easier to keep quiet than to rehash stories of trauma over and over again to a cold and disbelieving public make the women who come forward with their own experiences so incredibly brave in my eyes. Despite the hostile climate to victims, a lot of higher profile celebrities have come out in support. Sarah Jessica Parker, along with other Sex and the City co-stars, have expressed their shock and anger directed towards Chris and his alleged actions. And while he has been fired from his television show, the director has made it known that he does not condone any violence, let alone sexual violence that is so readily perpetrated in Hollywood. And so it seems that, for now at least, Chris Noth's career is completely over. As more information is sure to be revealed in the future, I think it's safe to say that the actor will likely never recover from the repercussions to his own actions. So I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I've been your host Sierra for Where Are They Now. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, it would be much appreciated. See you next time.